deal with Poland first of all if the reigning champions are to reach the last eight or will Poland provide a bit of an upset with their first win against France in 40 years and for what would be a first appearance in a quarter-final at a World Cup since 1982 when they met in the third-place playoff. It was uh, actually in Alicante all those years ago. But straight away, they've conceded a free kick, which France will take on this right-hand side in the opening 30 seconds. Griezmann to take it, and already Chesney, who's been the busiest goalkeeper throughout this whole tournament, is now having to marshal his defence with those white shirts just inside the penalty area and Griezmann is going to take this left foot in so it's going to be an in-swinger already France have got an opportunity to try and put pressure on the Polish back line the Venezuelan referee blows his whistle Griezmann left footed clips it in plenty of curl on that ball but it arcs its way through and out for a goal kick no danger yeah all the big build up Griezmann's such a talented player the little prince as he's known but that was an awful free kick both centre half Varane and Uta Makana going forward but whipping that left footed straight behind so they're not going to play out from the back Poland Szczesny's just given a little wave with his uh his left arm, he's ushered the, uh, the Polish players ahead of him to go forward. Rabio wins the aerial challenge and then Cash on the volley hits the ball away down downfield. I, I don't mind that though, you know, the fact is we saw them try and play it against Argentina the other night. They were not good enough, so if they're going to go long early on, what they need to do is make sure this evening that Lewandowski, the Polish centre forward, isn't lonely, that they get bodies in and around him and runners off him Dembele picks the ball up on side his near half runs in field gets away from a couple of challenges edge of the centre circle rather pacey ball and Mbappe's done well to control plays it ahead of him and that is for, uh, for Rabio on that left hand side tries to play in a low ball cleared away by Glick picked back up by Teo Hernandez Schuermeni inside now to Kunde He's clearly being held referee though will Play the advantage, out to Dembele, and they win a corner kick as it was closed down by Berezhinski, the uh, the left back. You can even see though, in the early stages, that Poland, the back four and five midfielders just camped ten yards ahead of them, really low block. Garans up from the back, Upper Meccano is also there. Poland have every white shirt inside their own penalty area corner kick and the header from Rafael Varane was off target climbed high just couldn't get it on target and it went well wide from about six yards out nil nil it's a left footed in swinger Varane gets up really well do you know what sees it all the way should score gets on top of the ball just missed times his header and goes high and wide but it was a decent opportunity for Varane the El Fumamama Stadium is about four miles south of, uh, of Doha. I'm going to say, disappointing, there are a lot of empty seats. It's uh, got the green seats away towards our left, the red seats to our right. There's a sprinkling of, uh, of white seats in the, uh, in the middle. But there are a lot of empty bucket seats wherever you look inside this, uh, this stadium. It's Krakowiak, the former West Bromwich Albion player, back to Glick. He's quickly returned the ball from Cash of Aston Villa. And now it's hit long. And it's uh, looking for the run of Frankowski on this near side. The back heel to Lewandowski, but Varane will tidy up towards his goalkeeper. But Poland will press. Up at Meccano comes under pressure now inside his own penalty area. There were about three Polish players there who really decided to, to press. There was the, uh, the trigger point, if you like. And they head after Lloris. Ridic win. Ridiculous from Lariso. Putting Luka Meccano in danger there with a, a daft little ball five yard pass when he was under pressure. They got away with one there, France. You're quite right. Cash looking to get forward. Round the back on the right hand side. Delivers the cross. 
and caught by Hugo Lloris. Frankowski was making the run behind him from his left wing position, but well handled by Hugo Lloris. Well, I'm, I'm really pleased because Poland have shown far more intent in this first five minutes than they did in 90 against Argentina. It's they're throwing bodies forward, and I really hope that's the mindset from them. If they just sit back and try and soak it up, I think the French will be far too good for them. But they need to need to play with balance. If they create opportunities for Lewandowski, we know what an expert finisher he is. Rabiot picks it up on that left-hand side. The assessment of Chris Sutton as well is not harsh because Poland have recorded only five shots on target in the three games of this tournament so far and three of those were against, were against Saudi Arabia. Lewandowski's had three of the five. He's actually had more than, than the entire Polish team. Chuameni out towards Dembele. Berezinski heads it away. The return header to the left back but uh, helped out by Frankowski. And now at the heart of the Poland defence, Kivor towards Szczesny, who's certainly been outstanding for, uh, for Poland and probably been the, the keeper of the tournament so far. Nil-nil. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with you there. Well, it's saved a couple of penalties, hasn't it? Szczesny so far been the best player. The brilliant centre forward. Let's hope this isn't his last appearance in a World Cup, but looks that way. It's the bit in between which um, I'd be concerned about if I was a Polish fan. Krakowiak will just plonk himself in front of that Polish back four. It looks to be a more positive lineup. Szymanski and Zielinski will play ahead of him. Hoping to see tonight Frankowski and Kaminski carried the ball they didn't do that Poland in those wide areas against Argentina Kaminski's the player who's playing on the w wide right for uh, for Poland it's uh, like a 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one formation that uh, Mikniewicz their, uh, their coach is employing here tonight so he's he had the double pivot in the last two group games but he's gone back to a system that's not too dissimilar from their opening game against Mexico. Varane carries the ball, laid off first time by Dembele, who is alert enough to pick up that loose ball and he runs into the centre circle. Nil-nil, we've been playing for nearly eight minutes. Rabiot out to Teo Hernandez, far side the left. Dembele comes into a central area, gliding across the surface. Griezmann's ahead of him. Griezmann now the sliding challenge on Griezmann. Chuameni, Hernandez, Mbappe plays it inside, pops out to Griezmann and on the cover it was Krakowiak to get the ball away for uh, for Poland and now just looking to hold on to it is uh, Sebastian Szymanski in the uh, in the midfield for uh, for Poland and now Cash over on that far side, a familiar name of course, Matty Cash of Aston Villa, 14 appearances so far this season before of course we had the break for the uh, for the World Cup as Rabiot now picks it up and Mbappe coming in off that left touch line already it's a menacing run he accelerates left hand side clips over the cross as well and in the end it was a, a diving header back and it had to be a watchful one because there was real concern there in the uh, the Polish defence to concede the corner yeah. Mbappe Berezinski yeah does well takes no chances but Matty Cash is no slouch, but Mbappe, step over there, gets to the byline, cross left foot. Just went away from Matty Cash, didn't he? Already had one corner on this near side, the right. They've got another one, Griezmann again to take it. Two-handed fist out by Szczesny, all in green, the Polish goalkeeper. Hernandez delivers a ball in, it hangs towards the far side of the penalty area. Comes back out towards the right, clipped back in by Griezmann. Headed out by the Polish defence once again. Potential break could be on now here. Ball played forward towards Zielinski who makes that run forward. But in the end, it's tidied up and played back towards Lloris as Kunde is able to uh, to turn. It just wasn't the uh, the supporting runs forward for those white shirts no. for Poland. And, and they don't have great pace in their team. 
Certainly this man has plenty of pace in abundance. Mbappe again on the outside of Cash towards the far side of the penalty area. Dembele with a shot, charged down by Berezinski. Another corner kick. Well, at the minute, that's twice that Mbappe has left Matty Cash on both occasions. Yeah, I, I've got to say, I do think that in those 1v1 situations, he is unplayable, Mbappe, because he will drive the outside on his weaker left foot. Corner's taken short, Dembele. Cleared then by Lewandowski on defensive duties. Now it's with Kunde outside the centre circle. And it's like almost like a, a back line of, of five of those white shirts. Griezmann sink. A lot of space at the moment. Spreads it out towards Mbappe. Lovely first time control with the left boot. In comes the cross and caught by Szczesny. You know that debate you were having earlier with, uh, with Nedham? Mm. And I, I agree with you and Nedham. I think Kyle Walker will play for England tonight. And I'll, I'll tell you why. I think that bearing in mind he's missed so much football in the build-up of this tournament and I get yeah. Gary Lineker's point but you'll want him to have minutes yeah. to build up his fitness ahead of playing against Mbappe in a potential quarter-final should see England beat Senegal and, and even even then Kyle, or Kyle Walker at his fittest his very best still may not be able to cope with Mbappe but as I said, it's interesting he, he drives the outside because he's always trying to set the full back up to come inside on that right foot and fire shots off. But very hard to stop, and it's okay doubling up, but if you're not quick enough, you're in big, big trouble with him. Chris Sutton is with us here on BBC Radio 5 Live. We're also live on the BBC Sounds app. 12 minutes played, still nil nil, out towards that far side infield now by Mbappe to Rabiot two and many now 30 yards out from goal he shoots from distance beaten now by the goalkeeper skimmed across the surface Chesney actually made a very good save low down towards his right body behind the ball threat remains Rabiot left corner of the area and it goes behind for a corner kick Chesney did well he did but I'm not excited or as excited about the save as you got his what 30 yards out Jumini puts his laces through the ball, tries to beat Chesney at his near post. He gets down. He would have been upset the form he's been in to, to let that one in. Corner's taken short. Mbappe goes on the outside, tries to pull it back, and then Lewandowski in his own penalty area, near side of the six-yard box. I always think it's the, uh, the art of the commentator to get excited when the keeper makes a save. It wasn't. A, it was. A, it was an okay effort. Forgive me. Just shows how low been your doing the job bar for 26 is. Twenty-six years, but hey ho. Yeah, that was. You know, that was a, a good save. It wasn't save of the competition, was it? It was the first shot on target from France, who are coming forward again. Thirteen minutes played. Dembele on the inside. Mbappe now on the edge of the area. They doubled up on it, and it's Cash who brings it away. But then he overruns it to Chu, and then he. And all of a sudden he's helped out now by Kaminski over on that far side. Already there are cracks just starting to appear in that Polish defence, but Kaminski's just seen a crack appear ahead of him, and he's run through it. And he's now midway through the France half, but he's been dispossessed, and Rabiot will bring it forward. Yeah, more of a, a gap than a crack there. Kaminski went through. But, but this is going to be their issue. They're going to sit deep. How are they going to get up the pitch? This is... A similar pattern now to the Argentinian game. There's a turnover there. There is, and Poland won the attack. Lewandowski. Certainly from a neutral's point of view, if Poland were to score, it would make life very, very interesting. But, uh, but I mean, the manner of how they scraped through, it was Kivior who, who made a goal-line clearance. Had they lost that game 3-0, Poland would be out. I mean, it really was... Uh, a desperate struggle to reach the uh, the knockout stages, but here they are. And Mikniewicz has made positive changes in terms of the formation for their first time at a knockout stage of the World Cup since 1986. We've been playing for 15 minutes and it's still nil-nil. You're live on Five Live. And here is Rabio able to turn just outside the centre circle. Griezmann plays it through towards Giroud. And Chesney again, quickly off his goal line, getting there first. Good anticipation from the keeper. It was, but 
Fortunately for Poland, it was Giroud and not Mbappe making that run because Mbappe would have got there. Giroud, not the quickest. Such an important part of this French team, though. Goal scorer, but more than that, he's a good link man, Ian, isn't he? Yeah. Are you concerned how much space Griezmann is finding for France? Um, he's getting into little areas at this moment in time, isn't he? I'm concerned that, you know, if this game carries on with the same pattern, eventually Poland will concede that maybe it's easier said than done. They're very limited, aren't they, Poland? Don't really have that creativity in the middle of the park. Krakowiak there winning a free kick, but being the perfect example, getting on a bit, isn't he? Not a great mover anymore. Been a good servant for the Polish national team, but can't get around the park like he used to and that's a problem at this level he's 32 years of age now Krakowiak he had uh, about five years ago that spell at the Hawthorns where he made 31 appearances Dembele picks up darts forward and shoots low and it was a left-footed shot running at pace edge of the area and Chesney a comfortable save yeah but here's the issue Poland trying to play out from the back it's uh, too many wins the ball releases Dembele he cuts inside Rakowiak easily should do better with the shot comfortable save I know you get excited about saves Ian but comfortable from Chesney you're fine I didn't really get too excited then all about trying to read the game Cash on the halfway line Rakowiak for Poland who in their white shirts red shorts playing from right to left 17 minutes played here is the central defender Kibior Glick who is now outright third in the all-time list of appearance makers for, uh, for Poland only Blaszczykowski and Lewandowski who's ahead of him as the ball floated long into the penalty area and it was uh, over the head of Chaminski, Sebastian Chaminski, and out for a goal kick to France, who's played it out short. Yeah, that just sums up Poland in this tournament in an attacking sense. Not on the same wavelength. Here is Rabio. Rabio short of the halfway line. And for Meccano, Chumeni, no pressure, he's easily able, just at a gentle pace, able to trundle his way out towards the left-hand side Griezmann once again in his forward ball cut out by uh, by Cash Teo Hernandez was the one trying to get forward on that occasion from uh, from left back back with uh, with Chesney and uh, Chesney inside his own penalty area cracks it downfield right footed and it'll be oh, quite a heavy touch actually from Upper Meccano Frankowski was the one trying to benefit here is Chuameni now outside the centre circle the, uh, the midfield dynamo from Real Madrid but Cash gets it back for Poland and Cash now will run forward in field Lewandowski never going to get there tries to win it back but after that initial challenge from Varane and Poland now go hunting for the ball putting pressure on Griezmann but sure many make sure that France have retained possession and then Dembele is unable to keep it in play it, they, they seem to be getting more joy Poland when they do press France Yes, and uh, I think that's down to France being it's a bit sloppy in possession. They have been. It's not just going to happen for them. Here is Krakowiak in the centre circle. Berezinski forward, the bearded left back. And then getting a foot into the challenge with Frankowski and out for a throw. And we've been playing now for nearly 20 minutes on BBC Radio 5 Live. Mark Chapman leading our team for England, Senegal, all the build-up as well as the commentary and then Rick, Edward, Rick Edwards with all of the fallout for Five Live Breakfast from 6am in, uh, in the morning live here from Doha as France on the attack Hernandez, Chouameni Rabiot with his back to goal over 30 yards out out towards that left-hand side once again Cash only momentarily holds him up and then again the uh, the block comes in Bappe starting to uh, 
sensed he's going to have moments down there as well as it's played forward. A little flick there by Griezmann. And Chesney actually reacted well as it came back into that central area to palm the ball away. And now Kaminski will break forward on the right-hand side. But it was a rather hopeful ball lifted in. Lewandowski, though, has won it back. Lewandowski from long range! Left-footed, drifting wide in the right-hand post. Goal kick, nil-nil on five live. Yeah, smart play from Chesney. The goalkeeper makes a save and then they counter really quickly, don't they? This one long ball, Varane doesn't get a clean head up. Lewandowski picks it up, what, 25, 30 yards out and hammers a left foot shot. Puts his laces through the ball and he's not far away, a yard past Larissa's left hand post. 21 minutes played, best effort for Poland so far, here is, uh, here is Varane, not that you'd know inside the stadium, but I've got a feeling that there may have just been a VAR check for a potential handball, there was a, a momentary lapse of, before play could, uh, could restart, here is Chiumeni, Rabio. out it goes to that far side. Teo Hernandez, it's a walking pace here from France, inside to Mbappe, Chouameni, Kunde joins the attack, he'll shoot from distance, it was a rising right footed effort into the midriff of Chesney. Yeah, the ball popped out on the right from Chouameni to Kunde. You, you know, you mentioned there, it's, it's a walking pace, well, with the Polish wall, that back four and the five across the midfield, the French need to move the ball quicker. 22 minutes played, we're approaching the midway point of this first half. Kunde hits it long from his right back roll. Kivor, little layoff by Krakowiak. And now Berezinski to run forward. Ahead of him is Frankowski. His cross will take a deflection. Falls to Lewandowski. Plays it out wide right. Kept in play by Kaminski. He's got his back to the penalty area on that right hand side. And they lose out, and Rabio now brings it clear. And this is now really where Poland have got to be careful. But Massey Cash has done well in that foot chase with Mbappe. He gets hold of the did ball. Did unbelievably well there. Rabio, left hand side, slid the ball beyond the Polish back line. And you're thinking, this is Mbappe all day long. As I said earlier, Cash isn't a slouch, Ian. Did well there. It would have been big trouble had he not won that ball. Poland have a, a dreadful record uh, against France as well. France were unbeaten in seven matches since Poland won 4-0 in a, in a friendly in 1982. And in fact, they failed to score in four of their last five meetings. And for those who may have seen Poland at this tournament so far, you would think, and Chris Sutton, I know, would be one of them. They might struggle once again to change that statistic. 23 minutes played but of course we have the potential for extra time and, and penalties some cynics have suggested that may be Poland's best hope of knocking out the defending champions here is Jelinski having such a fine season for the Serie A leaders Napoli Cash is quick to join the attack Certainly though they haven't parked the bus, they're getting plenty of white shirts forward now as they play from right to left, nil-nil on five live, 24 minutes gone. Jelinski, every outfield player indeed now is in the, uh, the France half. Krakowiak, Glick, Kievo, left of the centre circle. Berezinski, invites the run of Chiminski, the cutback. Lewandowski can't get a sight of goal, that was a rather scooped effort by Frankowski. Very little backlift off his right foot, and France were able to clear the ball away. Yeah, encouraging, though. Well, Poland, a bit of possession in the French half. Controlled possession, probably for the first time, nearly creating an opportunity. Yeah, they may just feel they get a foothold in in this game. There's uh, cries of Polska, Polska from a smattering of Polish supporters on the bottom tier away towards our right hand side two or three rows of, uh, of white behind the, uh, the banners and that's as a free kick goes in favour 
off Poland and it's the uh, the left back Berezinski who's been fouled yeah he is actually clipped by Dembele and brought down out on this Polish left hand side an opportunity now for Poland to throw a ball in this may be their best opportunity Ian Glick going forward big centre half it's all about the delivery Glick's up from the back Kievor is also there as well Poland have a free kick near side the left midway through the France half in it comes now, it's left footed, delivered very deep in towards that penalty area. Lewandowski's the one on the right hand side who'll keep it in play. Lewandowski held up by Rabio. Krakowiak plays the ball forward. Back to Krakowiak once more. It's a short diagonal ball. They just tried to play it towards Lewandowski right hand side. And Mbappe once again now. And Mbappe's away on that left hand side. And in the end, just running back was Berezinski from his left-back roll, almost to the right-back roll over on that far side to curb the run of Mbappe, nil-nil. Yeah, but Mbappe having words with the referee saying, I was pulled back, it was Frankowski in a foot race. I mean, amazing Mbappe, isn't it? His, his dynamism. He's like five yards behind Frankowski. He pushes the ball past him gets the burners on but Berezinski getting back crucial interception 35 kilometers an hour he was running then in Bappe that's what how can you tell that from here because it came up on the giant screen really listen I'm, I'm all for uh, the modern man technology and all that how can, how can they tell though who knows? At times, it, you, you often feel he's the bionic man, don't you? When you look at him. Yeah. It's like he's, like he's playing a different game to everybody else. 27 minutes played. Long clearance from the back by Kievor. That's what Kyle Walker could be up against in a quarter-final on... How fast, how fast does Kyle Walker run? Wow, that's one for the England team to find out and give you that answer in the coming days. Providing, of course, that England are in the tournament. You know, I thought, I thought you knew everything. I know very little, as you know only too well. Here is Rabio on the halfway line. Nil-nil still between France and, uh, and Poland. Here is Lewandowski. He's got runners off the ball there. Krakowiak. His ponytail is unravelling. It was a chance to go forward, though. The, the ball just popped back from Lewandowski to go to Krakowiak and one forward from Szymanski. Poor ball by Frankowski. Presents it straight to Griezmann. Griezmann to Dembele ahead of him. Dembele towards the far side. Oh, what a miss that is. Sliding by Giroud. What a miss by Giroud. Was the flag up on this near side? Uh, yes, it was. But that wasn't a bad miss by Giroud. It was a terrible ball by Dembele. As the ball is popped out wide from Griezmann, Dembele shouldn't be offside. I think he goes early, but then he, he fires the ball, rifles the ball across. He just had to wait the ball for Giroud, who would have had it the easiest of chances. And being bamboozled by the two of you, I've got Chris Sutton to my left and Jules, our producer, to the right and you both come up with the same statistic that Kyle Walker in fact I think Lady Kelly was going to give me the same yeah. stat and they they Kyle run. Walker is quicker than Gillian Mbappe then according to that stat yeah ball hit long Kaminsky couldn't keep it in play out for a goal kick nil nil do you know what though I've you know talked Poland down before the game because they have been boring and rotten in this tournament so far I think the worst team who got through to the knockouts but they have they have given it a bit of a go this evening so fair play to them well for any uh, Polish listeners to Five Live who've been offended by Chris Sutton but that, uh, that graceful acknowledgement I will speak on your behalf uh, as we've now been playing for 
half an hour and it remains nil-nil here on BBC Radio 5 Live. Two and many in the midfield. Just goes away from Rabiot. And Mbappe was there in the central area and the whip provided on that far side. And now it's with Hernandez. So the, it was Dembele who was offside, not Giroud. It was a, a glaring miss though, wasn't it, from, from Giroud? No, it, no it, it wasn't a glaring miss from Giroud. It was because Dembele fired the ball across too hard. It just caressed sometimes. Ian, take the pace off the ball. Giroud was at full stretch. Doesn't always have to be walloped across. Don't you, uh, don't you worry, I can caress like the best of them. 14 minutes to go to half time. France nil, Poland nil. Ball up. Here is Krakowiak to Griezmann. Krakowiak wins the challenge. Little touch ball forward. Lewandowski now out towards this left hand side. Frankowski running forward. Frankowski comes in between two players there, runs into Chuameni. And the referee will give a free kick, and Chuameni is shown a yellow card. French players not happy about that, but. I've got to say, Antoine Griezmann, I don't know what, chicken poulet in French, pulled out of a challenge there, 50-50, with Krakowiak, and Poland are onto them, and oh, actually, I don't think the free kick should have been awarded from the pictures we're seeing, it's too many get to the ball first, mm -hmm. yeah, but come on, you, Griezmann needs to step up there, well, it's given Poland uh, an opportunity, just probably 25, 26 yards out from goal. It's left of centre, in their white shirts and red shorts, they're playing from right to left as we look. It's nil-nil, he's still listening to Five Live and BBC Sounds, and we've got 13 minutes to go to half-time. And Lewandowski has placed the ball down. Good distance, isn't it? Good distance, would you say? With the chance to get it up and over. over and up and over and down. Four in the wall for France. Lewandowski waits. This could be a big moment for Poland. Lewandowski just having a little look. Stuttering run up from Lewandowski into the wall. Right footed, didn't get the elevation. Lousy, lousy Lewandowski there. You expect better than that. Halfway up the wall. Couldn't lift it, Lewandowski. Berezinski back to Chesney. Mikniewicz, though, the Polish coach, will be relatively satisfied, one would imagine, would he not, with 12 minutes to go to half-time, nil-nil? I think so. Chesney, a couple of routine saves. Nothing really clear-cut from the French so far. Kievor. Well, he made his debut in June, it's his ninth appearance, so relatively inexperienced alongside his centurion, Kamil Glick, who reached uh, the century in this tournament against Mexico on match day one. Berezinski enters the left side of the penalty area, clipped over the cross, away out of the penalty area it goes, Frankowski picks it up, back it goes to Krakowiak, Certainly they've, uh, they've shown more ambition than many people would have imagined in this game so far. Poland still nil nil. 11 minutes to go to half-time. Glick at the back. Krakowiak. They've dropped off as well, France, at the minute, with the exception of Giroud. Yeah, but, but you know, the issue France have is that Griezmann doesn't press. So he's played around easily there. Zielinski out towards Cash. First time shot. And he hit it. And it was a thunderous effort, but it had the power, but it didn't have the placement. And uh, it went nearer the corner flag than Hugo Lloris yeah, in goal. But I know why you got excited about that. Yes, it nearly hit the corner flag, but Szyminski had made a run, hadn't he? And it, Cash had laced that from the right-hand side of the box. He wasn't far away, Szyminski, was he? That's why you got excited. You wouldn't normally get excited about a player shooting and nearly hitting the corner flag. I did get excited at the prospect of a reality TV show about you being on skates, Sutton on skates. So that, that's trending on Twitter as we speak. Ten minutes to go at a half-time. Skates or thin ice. Here is Griezmann. 
Griezmann coming forward for France, out to Mbappe, left hand side, Mbappe enters the penalty area, twist the game onto his left foot, and into the side netting, got a touch on its way through, it's a corner kick. Is it though for France, Mbappe or bust? Does that so well, shapes on the inside to get a shot off with his right foot, chops back. Chesney down to his right hand side, left footed effort from an angle. It's a good save from Chesney, that is a good save. It's the fifth corner for France. And it's on that far side, the left, for Griezmann to take it. It's an out swinger. But for Meccano up from the back, put back towards Upper Meccano. And Chesney always oh, been caught there in the head by Upper Meccano. He actually did well to get something to it. And he's actually very quickly back to his feet. Both players are, which is good to see. Because he was very brave. Yeah, as Giroud actually tries an overhead kick as the ball's bouncing. And Meccano and Chesney, both eyes on the ball. Does he sure he takes one in the head see from this angle no not really it's Meccano knees him in the chest region brave goalkeeping his eighth season in Italy the 32 year old for Juventus formerly of course of, uh, of Arsenal and certainly he's been outstanding form for, uh, for Poland in this tournament France, who are yet to keep a clean sheet, beating Australia 4-1, Denmark 2-1, and then when they've made the nine changes, their second string losing 1-0 to Tunisia. So, Hugo Lloris, who has a rather shaky moment with his distribution, actually moving level tonight with Fabien Barthez and Thierry Henry for the most appearances in a World Cup, taking his tally to 17. Yeah, he's holding his hand up to... Is Kunde saying sorry for the pass horrendous from Hugo that Berezinski round the back of Kunde the left back low ball into the penalty area this is a moment for Poland not once not twice and eventually cleared off the line by Varane Jelinski it was who was denied on both occasions then the shot came in and the keeper couldn't get, get there Varane on the goal line three huge moments and he's got to score Zielinski should have buried the first effort it's an easy opportunity as the ball's pulled across from the left hand side are they checking something here the throw has been told is there a handball at all I just wonder they were, they were looking at something but he hammers the shot laces the, the shot straight at Lloris and then the cross from the left-hand side to his wide. Anywhere to the side. And he, he had time to pick his spot. He's been in decent form this season. Around the penalty spot, laces it. Lloris stands big, but he shouldn't have been given the opportunity. He can go anywhere with that. He can go to Lloris's left or right. Straight down the middle. Can't get the rebound in as well. Are they going to get any better chances than that, Poland? His second effort was blocked by a defender. The loose ball then came out to Kaminsky and it was Varane with the, uh, the goal-saving clearance. Poland can take great heart from that moment. Berezinski getting forward down the left-hand side. Six minutes to go to half-time. France nil, Poland nil. You're listening to BBC Radio 5 Live and if you're out and about later on, don't forget, through the BBC Sounds app, you can take five live with you. England against Senegal, all the build-up. Commentary from seven o'clock. Chesney pulled that clearance. Dembele ducked underneath it. It goes out of play for a throw that Kunde will take. Of course, his natural position is a central defender of uh, joined uh, Barcelona in the summer from Sevilla. He was. Uh, the player who had interested Chelsea, but he's preferred it right back to Pavard, but Berezinski getting round the back of him on that occasion. And it's now on the Polish right, where they've got to pay their attention because France are building on that far side. Five minutes to go to the break. Mbappe in a central area. 
Ooh, free kick. Didn't seem much in that, but Mbappe gets the decision from our Venezuelan referee. Yeah, there was a little tug. Clever turn from Kobiak trying to nick in front of him. Allows the ball to run across his body, takes it on the back foot, but too far out to shoot this. You mentioned Kundis. I think it's quite an odd de decision from Didier Deschamps. Pavard, I think, would, would have better balance and you'd see him overlap, but I think he's using Kundi more as a back support to Dembele, who's a dribbler. Free kick to France, still nil nil. Chris Sutton is with us. Griezmann to take the free kick, left footed. Krakowiak as well to head it away. Comes out towards Dembele. Right side, Dembele ahead of him is for Meccano, who stayed out wide. I've seen him play it right back before for, uh, for Leipzig, before he joined uh, Bayern. Kunde to Dembele on this near side. Infield to Rabio. Left footed ball in, Glick with a header away, low. And then Berezinski, the left back under pressure from Dembele, has to use his strength to hold off Dembele. And then Rabio and Chesney, as it's played back to him, was closed down that quick by Rabio. Didn't have the options. He was only forced to concede a throw and opt for safety first, out to this near side. The France right. Do you know what? I don't mind that from Chesney. Didn't take any chance and try and throw a step over. Last was at Rabio who shut them down. Just took one touch and said, you know what? I'm not going to try and kick it over you or through you and take that risk. And so I'll just pop it out for a throw in. Kunde, who's uh, he must have escaped the uh, the inspection check from the uh, the officials beforehand. He's having a necklace removed, a gold necklace, which was why there was a, a delay in in proceedings with three minutes to go to half time here on Five Live France nil Poland nil Varane now with a cross it's a deep one Cash tucked in the right back heads it away picked up by Teo Hernandez on that far side the left Rabio running away Chouameni back out to Hernandez Rabio's making the run forward Mbappe into his feet it goes on that left hand side Cash now retreats as Mbappe strokes the ball back Chouameni into the centre circle Varane Kunde slowly coming up and then doesn't provide the width. He doesn't want to run into the space of Dembele. It's laid off towards Kunde. Chuameni, but by and large playing in front of this Polish side at the moment. Still nil-nil here on five live. Out it goes now towards the, uh, the left. And Rabio round the back. Left-hand side floats over the cross. And headed away by Berezinski. The left back tucked in. Plenty of white shirts on defensive duties there inside the penalty area. France now starting to toy a little bit with Poland. Hernandez with the cross, it's curling away from goal and headed further away and out for a throw by Frankowski. Yeah, they worked it well there, the French down the left-hand side, just building a bit of pressure up before half-time. If the Poles can get to half-time, I think they'll be pretty satisfied with their first 45 minutes. I think they've had the best chance. Yeah, well they had that opportunity before as well with, uh, with Lewandowski that was uh, drifting about a foot wide. But certainly the opportunity that Chris is referring to is the one that fell to Zielinski. Lovely ball inside towards Giroud. And Giroud with a brilliant finish. What a sharp turn by Olivier Giroud. Who becomes the leading goal scorer for France with his 52nd goal for his country. And it's the breakthrough goal just before half-time for the reigning champions who lead Poland by a goal to nil. Quality goal all round. Yep, there I was saying, if Poland can get the half-time, they couldn't get the half-time. And France were building up a head of steam when a couple of crosses have gone into the box, but this is brilliant from Mbappe. Clever run from Giroud, little diagonal run, and it's genius from Giroud to finish. Mbappe pulls to the left-hand side of the box, on the half turn, Giroud is, is miles on the side, takes one touch with the outside of his left foot, and he already knows what he wants to do, and he digs the ball out, like a little wedge, and just bobbles the ball into the far corner, and Chesney goes down, not even the great Chesney 
can save that one. The Champ celebrates. It's a clever finish. He is lethal. A lot of talk about Benzema before the tournament. He wasn't fit. Giroud has stepped up. Well, after Chesney was beaten, Giroud is the one now who can say, I'm the one and only, because that actually takes him past Thierry Henry after being joint level with 51 goals. So 52 goals now in 117 appearances. And this is a player who didn't have a shot on target in Russia four years ago. Meanwhile, to the other end, opportunity here and down into the ground it goes. And that was from, I think, Kaminsky. Took a deflection and behind for a corner kick. Yeah, good response from the poles. The ball whipped in from the right-hand side. Takes one touch, Kaminsky. And it's a good block. I think it was Griezmann, of all people. Corner kick to Poland, trailing by a goal to nil. We're in stoppage time. Headed forward by Kruk. Kobiak, dropped by Larice. What is he doing, Larice? Lax from Larice. It was lax from Larice. Just come and catch it. A French fumble, and the Poles nearly poke it in. Ooh la la. Two minutes of additional time, and it's one nil to France. Where does that come from? That lack of concentration blimey with 100 and, 142 caps yes won't have many more carries on that way I think he's had a, an iffy season at Tottenham six clean sheets in 21 for uh, for Spurs this season Franco are leading by a goal to nil he's looking for his first clean sheet in this tournament Bearing in mind that he'd kept three in six games in uh, in Russia four years ago. As France, the first defending champions to reach the knockout stage since Brazil in 2006. As the half-time whistle sounds and now eyeing a place in the quarter-finals. And a quality goal. Poland left to Roo, a double miss by Zielinski. Some 11 minutes before Giroud, but the pass through from Mbappe and as Chris Sutton says it was slightly behind Giroud he had to dig it out but it was such a, a clinical finish a record breaking goal for Olivier Giroud and France are leading Poland by a goal to nil and they, they have now just kicked off and also John went was it mercy to you Genquia would have been uh, apt as well that's thank you in Polish and anybody who uh, is listening of a Polish persuasion Jean Dobre Although it's not necessarily a good day as we're back underway in the second half because France are leading Poland by a goal to nil. But the, uh, the statistic to offer a little bit of encouragement for, uh, for Poland is that France are yet to keep a clean sheet at this, uh, at this tournament so far. Neither side has made a change. So uh, Lloris is in goal. Kunde, Upamecano, Varane and Hernandez the, the defence. Chouameni, Rabio, and Griezmann the midfield. Dembele, Mbappe and Giroud. So France in their navy shirts and white shorts and red socks are playing from right to left as we look in this uh, second half against uh, a Polish side in their white shirts and red shorts who have Chesney in goal, a back four of Cash, Kievor, Glick and Berezinski. Krakowiak will just sit. Uh, Sebastian Szyminski and Zielinski and Frankowski out wide left and then Kaminski out wide right and Lewandowski through the middle. But Dembele is on the attack on the right-hand side and he was brought down by Berezinski and the left back is shown a yellow card on his 50th cap and he can plead all he likes towards Jesus Valenzuela the referee from Venezuela but he's in the book yellow card yeah and deservedly so the ball slipped down the right hand side and it's a foot race Berezinski is saying he gets the ball he may get part of the ball but he wipes Dembele out lunges and slides and takes him out quite rightly booked and a chance for France in this second half to a couple of goals up and uh, make life easier for themselves so it's a free kick it's right of the penalty area Griezmann's going to take it Poland have every white shirt inside their own penalty box France lead by a goal to nil you're listening to BBC Radio 5 Live 
Griezmann waits, hands on hips. They've got two in the wall. And Mbappe. Got a, got a shoot here. Get and Varana close by. Try and fizz this in on goal and get bodies across Chesney's eye line. Makes it very difficult for the goalkeeper. Rabio's lurking at the far post. Griezmann now hits it. Good save by Chesney. And then comes out to Teo Hernandez inside the uh, the D on the volley right footed well off target just in case you, you're listening um, on BBC One or if you're not you've got an option through BBC One to head to the iPlayer search for World Cup Extra and you've got the five live commentary and if you're doing that through your BBC television and you haven't yet downloaded the uh, the BBC Sounds app and you might not have necessarily come across BBC Radio 5 Live, you can listen to us wherever you go through the BBC Sounds app. And later on, England-Senegal, that would be the, uh, the perfect way to listen to the game. It's on another channel, so don't worry about that. Watch the pictures, get the BBC Sounds app, and listen to, uh, to John Murray and co. Dembele away, streaking clear. Dembele with lots of pace into the penalty area, but he's overrun it, and it's picked up by Chesney. Oh, lovely from Giroud, wasn't it? A little back heel. Ooh la la, don't know that. And Dembele drives through on the right-hand side, took a heavy touch, and the chance was gone. Wouldn't that have been more va va That was lovely, wasn't it? The thing from... Are you on 606 later? Yeah, yeah. 606 later. Double bubble yeah. for you today, is it? <laughs> doesn't doesn't work like that on my contract. <laughs> Believe me, I bet it does. Back it goes to uh, to Lloris. All in orange, a luminous orange, away towards our right-hand side. And now it's with Kivor at the heart of the Polish central defence. To Glick. Yeah, um, I like Glick. He's hearty type of player, rugged. Looks like a, a farm hand, Deno, doesn't he? Glick. Somebody who shifts, shifts, bears a straw. Good defender he is. Aging, but it is, he's an all in type of character. Well, Varan and uh, Kunde doing the good defending at the moment, and it's played up towards Griezmann on the far side. And then Giroud, the goal scorer, has dropped short, bypasses him, and there is Glick to play the ball forward. Zielinski turns, finds Lewandowski, Lewandowski running forward, Kaminski had drifted into a central area from his right-sided roll, and then Cash just falls to the floor, as Teo Hernandez now to Mbappe, and they've got problems down this side, but Glick came across and dealt with it, and he had to, because otherwise they'd have had two Raiders down the left-hand side. It was a timely interception yeah. from Glick. They were in big, big trouble, the Poles there had Glick. Not won that ball, but he was always going to go all in there. Mbappe hurtling towards him. And Glick got it right. This is uh, Zielinski. Turns away from Chuameni. Drifts into a central area. Cash gets the ball now to his right-hand side. Back to Zielinski once again, looking for a shooting opportunity. This showed too much to Griezmann, who slid into the challenge and cleared the ball away. France, the reigning champions, lead by a goal to nil. From half past five, the build-up on BBC Radio 5 Live, ahead of the seven o'clock kickoff, England-Senegal. As now it's with Chesney all in green, away towards our left-hand side. Chris Sutton. Yeah. The Poles being more adventurous in this second half with their press. Then pragmatic Poles throughout this tournament, but it's simple, the equation. They know what they have to do. They have to get back into this game. And they're playing on the front foot. The Poles need to land a punch. Kaminsky's just been uh, brought down. The substitutes who are warming up behind the assistant referee are now in his right ear thinking that there should have been a foul there from the challenge of Abamecano, but there's uh, none been awarded. Instead, it'll be a, a France throw on this near side, seven minutes into the second half. Tomorrow on BBC Radio 5 Live, we've got Japan against Croatia at three o'clock. Peter Schmeichel joining Alistair Bruce Ball for that one. And then from seven o'clock, Brazil against South Korea with Chris and myself once again. And at quarter to five, actually, on Sports Extra, the fifth and final day of the first test, with Pakistan closing at 80 for two, 263 to win. And on Tuesday, we've got even more live matches for you 
before we can look forward to the first rest day after 17 days of consecutive football action on BBC Radio 5 Live. Here is Mbappe running forward. Rabio on the overlap. Rabio now in the penalty area. Rabio with a cutback, cleared away by Berezinski. Out it goes, clattered out for a throw, 1 0 France. Yeah, and I think with the Polish setup in this second half, more of a, a 4 3 3, being more adventurous, but France should have made more of that. And Mbappe left hand side just feeds the ball to Rabio on the overlap, and he's saying, just pull it back to me, but he overweights the pass, and chance gone. It's a throw that Teo Hernandez will go back to Avamecano, inside to Varane. Varane running towards the centre circle. Schumeni just dropping in between uh, with the Varane. And then Kunde on the, uh, the full-back, the, the right side. Griezmann plays it forward. Dembele gets the ball back inside towards Griezmann. Forward from Kunde, And there is... They look comfortable now, France. They look really in a settled rhythm keeping a lot of the ball Poland hoping to get it back at some stage as this is Teo Hernandez towards Mbappe and Mbappe then no foul as he was thought he was pulled back there but here is Cash over the halfway line Krakowiak forward Chilinski takes over Cash is ahead of him on this near side the right Kaminsky's come short the interception from Rabio. too many short diagonal ball into a central area Griezmann can run forward Open it up towards that right-hand side. Kunde's forward ball straight away and Dembele gets it out from underneath his feet. The return ball by Griezmann. This is a sweeping move and Griezmann now with a cross and Glick in that central area has to concede the corner kick. Flowing move from France. 1-0 they lead. Yeah, the game has really opened up. Short corner there. Should and could have made more of that opportunity. Corner is rolled to the feet of Giroud. Mbappe on the left-hand side. Zielinski got the block in. Teo Hernandez, who's such a key figure for Milan, quick, powerful left back, was a doubt ahead of this game with a, a minor ankle issue. As France have the ball once more and it's rolled out towards the right. Yeah, Griezmann had the opportunity, made an, an underlap on that right hand side. Dembele finding him with the pass, could have picked out Giroud or Mbappe. Giroud at the near post and Mbappe at the far post. And he picked out the Polish defender. Wrong choice. As it goes, far towards Dembele. Dembele running towards the right corner of the area. His cross was charged down. They've won it back. Dembele, edge of the box, tries to play it out towards Griezmann. Kunde was also there. And in the end, it was Berezinski who had to come across and force the ball out of play for a throw down by the corner flag for the reigning champions who lead by a goal to nil here. Here is Chuameni. Diagonal ball, headed up. Kaminsky can't get there, so it'll fall to Teo Hernandez. Mbappe on the inside. It's a square pass that finds him. Nice little flick back towards Teo Hernandez. Then the move breaks down, and Poland have it with Krakowiak. But his ball inside has been quickly won back, and Griezmann. Poland look a little dishevelled at the moment. Here is Mbappe. Mbappe accelerates on the inside. Shot takes the deflection. And it was a telling deflection because Chesney's already gone towards his right. He's committed himself. And it spins away off the deflection. I think it was off Glick. And it's gone behind for a corner kick to France. Yeah, it was a careless pass from Rakoviak. And Griezmann feeds the ball to Mbappe. Comes inside on that right foot. Hammers a shot. Chesney had committed already to his right-hand side. It comes off Glick's ankle and... Oh, it's agonising, isn't it, from the French point of view? Just to flex wide of Chesney's left-hand post. Inches. It, uh, it was at least 12. Griezmann to take the corner kick, right-hand side. Headed out by Lewandowski at the, uh, at the near post. France with Griezmann. It's a volleyed cross from the right. Varane has stayed forward. Chesney's come a long way and has fallen rather awkwardly the ball has been put into the back of the net by Giroud but the referee's whistle had already blown but that is a, an awkward blow for Chesney yes it is it's, it's really good goalkeeping he, he commits he comes a long way but gets a big Polish fist to the ball gets it out and as the ball 
fed back into the box but of course Chesney stays down I think it's Varane who jumps with him gets waxed in the back what a finish from Giroud though bicycle kick As the ball's headed back in but Chesney stays down I think Didier Deschamps having a word with the fourth official saying you know what should um, should Chesney have been or should the game have been stopped but the referee blew his whistle before Giroud had put the ball into the net so this won't be given he's landed on the top of uh, of Matty Cash as well who's Chesney's now on his feet landed on a pile of cash a little bit like you doing 606 later on after this France lead Poland by a goal to nil. Should, you, you, here's the point for you. Yeah, yeah, you know, I can, under, I can understand what Didier Deschamps is saying. Should the referee have blown his whistle? No, I don't, th I don't think he should have done it. It wasn't a head injury. Goalkeepers, you know, they get angry. The likes of Rob Green, you know, he'll get angry that they, they are protected, overprotected goalkeepers. But as soon as the referee does blow his whistle, it means that once the ball is put into the back of the net, that they're then unable to initiate a VAR check France still lead by a goal to nil Milik is going to be coming on for Poland so Mikniewicz the coach is going to be making a change and it's going to be the uh, the Juventus forward who's uh, going to be coming on formerly of Ajax and, uh, and Napoli it's Poland trailing need an equaliser Crossed by Kaminsky, only partially cut out. That was a very good sliding challenge as Krakowiak was already in motion to shoot from distance with his right foot. Zielinski now picks it up for the white shirts of Poland who trail. Out towards the far side, the left back, Berezinski, Frankowski. Ten yards inside the, uh, the France half. Just wondering whether, I mean, that could become a, a huge talking point, couldn't it? If that goal disallowed and... Poland, well, the goal was disallowed, but Poland get back in this. Well, certainly Didier Deschamps was uh, was speaking to the fourth official down below. Zielinski, outside the centre circle in the France half, slips it out to Krikoviak, forward ball. At the moment, Lewandowski's very, very deep. Now he's making a run into a more central area. Kievor has it, the central defender outside the centre circle. France have dropped off, every Navy shirt back behind the ball. Poland might give it away. Krikoviak is forced into a hurried challenge. Now to Cash. Cash's long diagonal ball, well read, stepping out of defence by the left back. Teo Hernandez, break on now for France. And Griezmann is away from Krikoviak. And Griezmann running now at the Polish defence, looks very narrow, out towards Dembele, enters the penalty area, cuts it back. And Mbappe, well, red by Sebastian Szyminski just to take it away off his toes on the edge of the area because that looks ominous no, it did and it broke out well there the French good run by Dembele got his head up a couple of French forwards in the box but Mbappe had just held his run on the edge of the box but took a heavy touch Szyminski did well to get back and make the challenge if Poland though can still stay in the game I mean even we had that dramatic finish with Australia and Argentina when Australia then just decided to go route one if you can stay in the game till as late as possible what was it that uh, that Bonnie Eck had, uh, had said that they've not existed in this uh, in this tournament yeah, but, that, but that's true what you, you know it's, it's telling the truth they've been negative haven't they not this evening Teo Hernandez left hand side left corner of the area it's now with Mbappe Rabio. ball played out to Teo Hernandez now it's with Rabio to many keeping the ball the Navy shirts of France out towards Dembele to Koundé the challenge from Frankowski doesn't have the quality though does he Koundé centre half his favourite position out on that in that right back position this evening it's uh, Griezmann at a walking pace now too many France still lead by a goal to nil Milik still waits very very patiently down below waiting to come on 
Here is Mbappe. No pressure on Mbappe once again. They're strolling at the moment of France. No pressure on the ball. Too many. Forward of the centre circle. Griezmann in space. Dembele in space. Here is Griezmann. Griezmann with the cross. Left-hand side of the penalty area. Mbappe. Mbappe still. Nobody wanting to go towards him. Links up. And then the shot was a wayward one. From a very little back lift. He skied it. And actually... Turned out to be a pass towards Griezmann on that far side, the right. Poland are backing off France at the moment. France still lead 1-0. Here is Dembele again on that right-hand side. The diagonal ball falls to Griezmann. Not a little back heel to Dembele. Mbappe goes down inside the penalty area. The referee was well positioned. He's offside. The and the flag's gone offside. offside. And I think... I mean, this would have been really interesting because Mbappe protested. I think there was... was it for, the flag has gone up for the early off, so earlier ball to Dembele, but Mbappe, clever little flick inside. It's a nutmeg on Kivior. And do you know what? I think that would have been a penalty awarded there, but referee gets himself out of jail there. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a close one, that with Dembele, whether he is offside or not. I'm not so sure. Poland have gotten away with one there. Well, Kadiusz Milik has come on to replace Sebastian Szyminski with 64 minutes on the clock. Czeslav Mikniewicz has made a change and it's a positive one with Szyminski going off and attacking midfielder for a forward. As Poland look for the equaliser in this last 16 encounter. The third time that Poland have faced the reigning champions at a World Cup. They have avoided defeat in their previous two. They beat Brazil 1-0 in 74. They held Germany to a goalless draw in 78. But they're trailing here by a goal to nil as Lewandowski out on this right-hand side. Cash on the overlap. Lewandowski with a cross aimed towards Milik. Header away by Teo Hernandez to Giroud. His goal separates the two sides. Yeah, something's going to give here though because... Looks like Poland are more or less a 4-2-4 now. They're swinging, they're trying trying to land a blow, but they're being countered here. Dembele, Koundé on the overlap, far side the right. Dembele on the inside. In his grey suit, watching down below that burly figure of Mikniewicz, wondering how he can potentially try and change this. Because France look comfortable, certainly in this second half. Koundé. Low ball in towards the near side and Giroud's little flick into the side netting. I think it was a, a dangled left foot as France are going to be making themselves a change. And it is going to be Youssef Fafana who is going to be coming on. So he's uh, appeared in every game so far as the 23-year-old from, uh, from Monaco. Just a one start, and he replaces too many in the uh, in the midfield. Chris Sutton. Yep, first change for France. Like for like, fresh legs. No change of system for France, who looking really dangerous when they do break out. But that's down to Poland and the way they've set up in this second half. They know what they have to do. Can they just? Produce that little moment of magic. So the 23-year-old is on for just his sixth appearance for uh, for France. Certainly they've got some promising youngsters at their disposal moving forwards. Didier Deschamps, whose contract runs out at the end of this World Cup. The third man to win the World Cup as a player and a manager. But only twice before has it been won by the holders the last time was Brazil in 1962 but at least they've broken the curse of the champions by reaching the knockout stages and now as we're approaching the midway point of this second half here on BBC Radio 5 Live they're looking to reach the last eight and to watch with interest of England Senegal to see who their quarter-final opponents will be well, if, if they see it through of course of course, France, you know, let's not take anything for granted. We've seen a lot of twists 
We were at the uh, Germany-Japan game when yes. you'd, you'd written Japan off. Ball hit long by uh, by Lloris. Referee gets in the way of uh, Mbappe. Krikowiak took full advantage. Glick now at the heart of the Poland defence. His forward ball, but uh, headed away with ease by Upamecano. Zielinski now takes over. Cash goes on ahead of him on the right-hand side. Switches play to Frankowski. Left-hand side of the penalty area with the cross. And trying to get on the end of it was uh, Kaminski. And it will be seen back by Rabio to Lloris. Do you know what? Fair play to Poland. They have gone for it. There will be more goals in this game. That is for sure. Don't worry about Krakowiak in the centre of the park for Poland. Doesn't have great mobility. You feel he could be one who gets really exposed now. With the French on the counter-attack. Got a feeling that Zalewski is going to be called forward. I've just seen him warming up, and one of the uh, the coaches has has given him the uh, the shout. And they do have two more opportunities to bring on another four, but they've had quite a, a settled side throughout this uh, tournament so far. Eight regulars of the eleven played in all three in the uh, in the group stages, as they still trail here. 1-0 and we have just over 20 minutes remaining as the ball is switched and hit long Jelinski out towards the far side Dembele for France touches the ball back Koundé and now it's with Upper Meccano just outside the D of his own penalty area his forward ball Mbappe trying to roll away from Cash and Mbappe gets away from oh Cash has done well the second nibble from Cash just took it away from Mbappe, who would have then been clear on goal on this left-hand side. He recovered well, Cash. Mm, really did do. Looked like Mbappe had, had the advantage there, but Cash used his body well. Kaminski tries to thread a ball through to Milik. They play it out towards Cash, right corner of the area. Poland not finished just yet, trailing by a goal to nil. Lewandowski on this right-hand side being patrolled and marshalled and then eventually barged over by Upper Meccano and it will be a free kick to Poland and it's going to be a double change Zalewski's going to be coming on and one of the other changes we're going to see Christian Bilic of Birmingham City coming on too he's on loan from Derby County former Arsenal player a double change being made here so Billet will come on into the centre of midfield Deschamps was furious at that decision from the Venezuelan well I, I don't know what, I don't, don't understand why it was a really stupid decision from Upper Meccano to bulldoze into Robert Lewandowski an opportunity for Solon to throw the ball in here Free kick out on the right hand side so it changes Zaleski has replaced Kaminski on the right hand side of midfield Krikowiak has gone off and Christian Bielik has gone on to replace him so that's like for like just to sit there in the uh, in the midfield Zielinski with a free kick that goes very very deep and Glick's header from the uh, the back central defender couldn't keep it down and with 18 minutes remaining, it's over the top. Goal kick, France still lead 1-0. Yeah, he gets up really well. Just click and he's trying to guide it. Back into the far corner. The old textbook header past Lloris, but slightly too high. They're still in it though, the Poles. Still some hope. But they're comfortable though, aren't they? I know it's only a one goal scoreline that they lead by but they they, they they feel comfortable or it feels comfortable to watch Francis here is Mbappe on this left hand side the flick didn't come off and Zielinski now will come forward for the white shirts Ooh. it was Zaleski who was going on ahead of him if the ball had been played early enough the player from uh, from Roma Italian born Polish international could have been away on the right how many times in this World Cup have we thought that, said that, 
comfortable. They're comfortable. Yes. And then all of a sudden, bang, bloody nose. Yeah. Japan have done it twice against Germany and Spain. It wasn't a, a bloody nose, but a bruised nose for Argentina against Australia in a frantic finish. And now with 17 minutes remaining of normal time, France will look to try and avoid both. Bilic to Milik. Zaleski, forward ball, cash on the inside of him. Well tracked by Rabiot, sliding block challenge. Out of play it goes for a throw, taken quickly by Poland. Well played by Zaleski, Bilic sliding, and now they leave themselves vulnerable on the counter-attack. And Mbappe's first touch was extremely heavy, it was more of a pass to a yeah, it's, it's, Even Mbappe couldn't, or struggled to keep that, and it was a terrible pass, an easy pass, I think from Fafana, who played it into the space there, but overweighted, and Mbappe and kept it in, but couldn't keep control of the ball. Giroud just hobbling, that would be a worry for Didier Deschamps. We're getting to that stage though now where Poland have got to throw a little bit of caution to the wind and yeah, they've got to I leave think, themselves open. I, think, I think they are, they have done in this second half. This is Poland having a go. Cash inside, Milik lifts it forward, looking towards Lewandowski, tried to get the touch, Varane and in the end it was Griezmann back there, 12 yards out from goal, who hooks it clear. Now it's three on three. Giroud, central area, out towards Dembele. Dembele now running forward. He finds Mbappe, unmarked, enters the penalty area. Mbappe! He doesn't miss. A powerful finish from Mbappe. Killing Mbappe with his eighth goal in the World Cup. He beats Pelé's record of scoring the most goals in a World Cup under the age of 24. And that takes his tally in this tournament to four and surely France through to the last eight this is magnificent from Mbappe it really is talks about the Polish substitutions that tries to be positive Poles but vulnerable to the counter attack and Dembele who's been a threat all evening out on that right hand side comes inside on his left foot Mbappe free level with Chesney's right hand post and he takes one touch with his right foot, second touch, just whips the ball in, past Chesney on his near post, into the top corner, no chance for the Polish goalkeeper, it's a brilliant finish, it really is, and it looks like game over, just composes himself, and just fizzes the ball, past Chesney, a flailing Chesney, has a look up, what a finish that is, blimey, devastating, Deschamps excited, he knows the Poles are poleaxed. That's the insurance goal for the defending champions, and now here come a couple of changes, Dembele and Giroud make way, and coming off the bench, Kingsley Coman, and also... Marcus Turam. But when Dembele passed the ball back, Mbappe just held back a fraction, didn't he? And therefore, when he came onto the ball, he was totally unmarked. Couple of touches, power, bang. Oh, the accuracy. Devastating finish, wasn't it? Really, what a player. He's, you know, we've had. Ronaldo's, Messi's, Lewandowski, brilliant striker, probably his last game in a World Cup, and he's saying, move over. I wouldn't say he's a new kid on the block, but I don't think many people would disagree that he is the world's best player, isn't he? Well, I know he'd, uh, he tweeted yesterday, uh, in uh, support of Pele and he's just gone and beaten that uh, that record eight goals that he's, he's scored now under the age of, uh, of 24 and also when Giroud had scored 
by my calculations, that had taken seven players who were level on three goals, but he now strikes out on his own for the golden boot with his fourth of this tournament, which actually matches his tally that he scored against Russia. In, in Russia, rather. And he's now playing as a central striker. Marcus Duran just coming out on the left-hand side, the side we associate with Kylian Mbappe. Just about seeing this one through now. Not putting themselves under pressure. His tweet yesterday for Pelé was, Pray for the King. As we'll be following Brazil tomorrow, myself and Chris against South Korea. That's after we brought you Japan against Croatia as a low ball into the penalty area. Milik running, couldn't keep it in play, bounced away off him low and out it goes for a goal kick but before all of that France through to the quarterfinals or they're heading that way and they will meet the winners of England-Senegal build up from 5.30 5 live and also available on the BBC Sounds app 7 o'clock commentary and we have just over 10 minutes remaining and uh, bearing in mind we're four miles south of Doha in the, uh, the Al Thumamama Stadium one would imagine that uh, we will get back to watch that Chris and then you'll be taking the calls on 6.06 at what time? Uh, after the England game. Of course, because it could go to extra time. Here is... Uh, I haven't heard you. Who's your, who's your favourites for the World Cup? Who do you think is going to win it? I don't know. Uh, I haven't been asked, actually. No, I've just asked you. 11 minutes to go to half-time. Uh, uh, Full-time. Did I? Sorry. <laughs> 11 minutes to go till full time. Full time, yes. Did, what did I say? Did half I say time. half time? Yes. It's just I, I enjoy spending time with the, the crew here today. It's been <laughs> such a joy. Feel free to strap me to a car and take me on uh, some roller skates rather than spend another four mile journey back with you lot. 2 0 right. that France are leading here with 10 minutes to go to full time. Do you, do you want time to think about that one? Are you going to give an answer? Well, you, you know what? I don't think as Mark Chapman says we're allowed an opinion on the BBC, are we? Here he's, is he's, the, he's a presenter. You, you know, you're, you're allowed an opinion. Right. Well, you, I've got to admit, my optimism for England has, has, has been growing through the tournament. But you'd have to, uh, you'd, on this French performance, you'd have to say they'll be, they'll be up there with Mbappe. Griezmann, I've, I've liked the look of Griezmann tonight. He just seems to have found space on so many occasions. Yeah, I, think, I mean, he, he knits everything together doesn't he clever player not a great worker though the little prince his 71st consecutive appearance to ram loses the ball it is unfairly challenged and it will be a free kick to france just in from the uh, the left touch line nine minutes remaining And France are 2-0 up and strolling into the last eight. Incidentally, the England-Senegal game live on Five Live, but also across Africa on the, uh, on the World Service. As Griezmann and Mbappe stand over this free kick, just to short to, uh, to Mbappe. Teo Hernandez back to Mbappe once again. Mbappe, that's great play by Mbappe. Teo Hernandez now takes over and his right footed rising shot over the top goal kick. France 2 0, Chris Sutton. Uh, Mbappe once again shapes the shoot with his right foot. Sells a. Well, sells. Sells cash. Drives the inside. As the ball comes to. Hernandez shifts the ball onto his weaker right foot and that's I don't know what mine the windows is in French but it was one of those efforts well over the bar here is uh, Zielinski Bielik gives the return ball back that second goal has somewhat deflated Poland although despite the promise that Chris Sutton thought they didn't really test Larice. the greater moments arrived in the uh, in the first half from the long range effort from Lewandowski and that double chance for Zielinski. And that, that was the moment. The, the effort from Lewandowski is a long way out, isn't he? As we just see a collision. Lewandowski and, and Griezmann. 
but that was the opportunity where the Poles could have raised the bar got themselves in front and given France something to think about got to take your chances when they come along didn't do that and now it looks like they'll be heading out since the last 16 was introduced in that was the 86 World Cup France have appeared five times in the round of 16 and they've won and progressed on all five only Germany eight out of eight have a better record than the French they're leading by two goals to nil Frankowski for Poland back to Kiev central defender and now with Aston Villa's Matty Cash who hits a, a rather ambitious ball that goes away from Frankowski on that far side the left and out it goes for a throw yeah, they've really just lacked that quality Poland all, all tournament that guile they have one of the world's best centre forwards in Lewandowski who's such a wonderful finisher but you need to provide the ammunition you don't have that type of player that creativity they're a pretty average Polish team well very average well, I think they've given it a go this evening though Ian but they are bowing out and France are moving through when we get the team news on five live we'll bring it to you ahead of that seven o'clock kickoff England against Senegal not expecting too many changes from uh, from Gareth you know something? Sounds like you know something. No, not at all. I'm not in the England camp. Mm, you know people, don't you? Here is Coleman on the uh, the far side. Griezmann waits just over the uh, the halfway line. Five minutes remaining of uh, of normal time. Here is uh, Griezmann once more. And what will certainly please Hugo Lloris on a record equaling night is that he's going to keep his first clean sheet in this World Cup so far. Unless Poland can score in the next five minutes plus added on time. Rabio's over the halfway line, out towards Kunde. They've played with three different right-backs uh, so far in this uh, this tournament. Pavar starting in the uh, the first game. Kamavinga playing in the last group game. Coleman's cross from the right, away from Turam. Mbappe will try and get there. Barges in the, into the back of, uh, of Cash. And that'll be a free kick. To, uh, to Poland in the closing uh, closing stages. Are you confident about England? Um, it's all going to be if they get through against Senegal. Well, yeah, but I'm talking You'd, about the Senegal. Um, Are you confident? Oh, oh blimey! Um, you never know with England, do you? The first game, I thought that people got carried away with the result. You know, good result as it was. Um, second game, I thought everybody got a little bit low against the USA who played very well and then against Wales you know we're England are world beaters again somewhere in between England need to show greater consistency there's, there's no middle ground with uh, with England often fine Kamal Grzycki is going to be coming on it'll be his first appearance at this tournament for the former Hull City and West Bromwich player and Frankowski is uh, is coming off as well and we're also going to see Jan Bednarek come on as well who I think when he moved to uh, to Aston Villa he moved with trying to cement a place in this World Cup side but he's only actually made two appearances since that loan switch from Southampton and like Grzycki it's uh, a token appearance as Poland are knocking are going out of the competition from their coach Mick Niewicz so uh, yeah, Bednarek is on for Kievor and Grzycki has really been mainly used as an impact sub these days for his 88th appearance replacing Frankowski yeah that's all it is isn't it you know, we'll, give you, we'll give you five minutes at this World Cup there are still at least three more outfield players who haven't figured 
under McNevich in this uh, this tournament. If I get one now, you would still have half a chance, but you just don't feel it, do you? No. Haven't felt it throughout the second half. From a neutral's point of view and as an observer, as it's headed away by Rabiot, I think that France have, by and large, played within themselves. Don't feel as if they've been stretched, really. Poland, uh, sorry, France by Poland in the second period. Had moments in the uh, in the first half as a diagonal ball is played out towards Cash, easily intercepted by a leaping Teo Hernandez and now picked up by Turam. And, uh, and Cash, tired challenge, giving away a, a free kick. And Massey Cash is going to get booked. And even if they were going through, not that they are, he would have missed the last 16 because that would rule him out through suspension with his second yellow card of the tournament. But Poland are losing 2-0. I think he's given an OK account of himself. I do, Matty Cash. He has been exposed a number of times, but I think any defender can be exposed against Mbappe. They're uh, trying to keep pace with Lucas Turam, and he is late with the challenge, and the referee's quite right to book him. But his game, isn't he? It's, uh, in, well, in a lot of situations, he's held with his own... But he's certainly risen to the challenge when you think that the first couple of occasions that Mbappe in the first half went past him with ease. You know, he, uh, he hasn't shirked from what must be a monumental effort to try and keep Mbappe quiet. France lead 2-0. Allez Le Bleu, France lead. 2-0, 60 seconds remaining of normal time here. Here is Teo Hernandez. Rabio. Mbappe. Yeah, they're playing with the a swagger, aren't they? The French pomp. Popping the ball around. There you know it's job done. Game over. Coming into this tournament, a lot of talk about. A lot of big hitters missing. How would France cope? Well. Not too bad the bench still is it? You know I know they made a lot of changes in the last game, but you can bring Kingsley Coleman on. That's, yeah. not a, that's not a bad thing. You think of all the injury problems that they've had: Benzema, Lucas Hernandez, and Kunku, Kimbembe, Pogba, Kante. They've used every player in the tournament other than the third choice goalkeeper, West Ham's Alphonse Areola. Here is Mbappe. Four goals for the tournament. 2-0 they lead out to Turam on this near side the left and we're about to find out how much added on time there will be from the fourth official down below five minutes here is Mbappe Mbappe oh what a special goal that is a stunning strike from Kylian Mbappe right footed arrows its way into the top right hand corner and the defending champions are easing their way into the last eight 3-0 Stunning. What a finish. It was game over anyway. It was France's second and Mbappe's second, but that's that's once again a magnificent finish. Left-hand side of the box. This time he chooses the other top corner. We are right behind this. The ball's fed into him from Turan. Little look up. Knows what he wants to do. Gets so much pace and power and whip on the ball. Chesney, who's, who's been brilliant in this World Cup, gets a hand to it. A right hand, but he cannot keep it out. That is devastating. Kylian Mbappe killing Poland there. Chesney will be sick of the sight of him. He scored a month ago when Paris Saint-Germain beat Juventus 2-1 in the Champions League. And here he is with a double to get the third goal. And like Chris Sutton says, not that it was ever in doubt, but it secures their passage through. And Mbappe, as he appears on the giant screens inside the stadium, as Lewandowski hits a shot, tired-looking shot well wide. It's a huge cheer from the supporters who have remained inside this stadium. They said it was over 40,000 who were here tonight. Never the case, because there were so many empty seats 
but there are even more empty seats but it's they who have missed the trick because they have just watched a superstar just rattle in a, another outstanding goal 3-0 France yeah but an unbelievable individual performance I've got to say this World Cup so far he, he has been the outstanding player he really has been takes your breath away watching him he's got everything hasn't he skill, pace, finishing ability and he and France will stand in the way of either England or Senegal next Saturday night because the reigning champions have booked their place at 7 o'clock next weekend they can sit back the hard work is done and then they will analyse Didier Deschamps the likely opponents for which we will have commentary from 7 o'clock but the build up from 5.30 with Mark Chapman and the team but France lead 3-0 and Mbappe with two of them after Giroud had opened the scoring three fine goals Chris Sutton. yep the first one that opened up didn't it Poland looking for a consolation Lewandowski rising in the air excellent save by Lloris from the overhead kick flag was up anyway from uh, to keep out uh, Milik but he wasn't to know that mm, he wasn't probably do his confidence the world he of good so. though Lloris yeah the ball crossed in did it hit the from post left hand side Lewandowski heads it back across acrobatics from Milik so he didn't actually save it no no Lloris yeah probably would have let that in wouldn't he way off Lloris <laughs> it's hard to see that it hit the base of the post from the angle that we're sitting here we were behind him it just looked like Lloris had dived away smartly to his right hand side but uh, it wouldn't have counted and nevertheless as uh, Poland trailing 3-0 and uh, an outstretched right leg from Varane but with the five minutes of added on time they've almost elapsed here on BBC Radio 5 Live France 3 Poland 0 and they look good yep they do look good and uh, the competition has really got going Paul played into Lewandowski and they get a corner kick to, uh, to Poland but there might not be enough time because the uh, what's the referee doing here he's, I think he's given the corner kick looking for a potential handball or something there why was the uh, what was the delay he's, he's saying to them don't take the corner kick so there must be as the cross comes in I think that's a penalty I do it's, uh, and out, it's, it's Uber Meccano his arm is out away from his body has he blown to the end of the game what's, go what's going on they're, here they're checking is, for a possible penalty yeah, it, this this I'm pretty sure this will be awarded and Lewandowski missed, missed one, didn't he? He did. Yeah, well, he's got the ball, he knows. Upa Meccano, so the ball is clipped in and I think it's... Upa Meccano's probably eight yards away. I think it was Rizicki and it, his arm is out away from his body. Is it above his shoulder? Yeah, probably his right hand level with his shoulder and this, I think, has to be awarded. Well, makes, if it him, is, makes himself bigger if the referee doesn't award this I would be shocked well if it is well he's clearly been told by his co Venezuelan compatriot that he thinks this is a penalty it's a penalty so here we go Valenzuela says it's a penalty which means that a penalty has now been awarded in all four of Poland's matches at this World Cup and Lewandowski who's currently level with Pelé, joint 10th in the all-time leading scorers in men's international football, has an opportunity to move joint 9th. Lewandowski, 
as you say, has had a missed penalty against Mexico. It will only be a consolation. Lewandowski waits. He missed the penalty against Mexico. It's a stuttering run-up. And Lloris makes the save. And Lewandowski has missed again. Oh, but the penalty is going to be retaken. The penalty is being retaken. Well, got to say, that was... Lloris must have moved a, up his goal line. Such a poor penalty. Let's have a look. Yeah, he, he does. He goes early, Lloris. I mean, the, look, this... It's the, it's the right decision. Goes early off his line. That's the rules. Maurice can't argue. Such a weak penalty from Lewandowski. Went to Larice's left, but premature from Larice. He's not going to hand this over, is he? No, he's not. He's just, really if this one's going to go in with all sorts of venom and pace watch this this could be Lewandowski's final ever goal at a World Cup Lewandowski hoping it's third time lucky he missed against Mexico he missed at the first attempt here not this occasion sends the keeper the wrong way it is third time lucky Lewandowski with a consolation for Poland and he moves joint ninth in the all-time leading scorers in men's international football with his 78th goal for his country and it means that France are still yet to keep a clean sheet at this year's World Cup yeah that, that run up again similar run up where runs up and then just stutters a little bit Lloris goes to his left on his knees. Lewandowski goes the other way, whips it into the corner and bows out on a bit of a personal milestone for him. But game over, Ian. He moves level with Hussein Saeed of Iraq, but that was the last kick of the game and it was just a consolation because the defending champions are comfortably through. They've beaten Poland by three goals to one.